one of the largest Discord bots got hacked, and what happened is baffling, to say the least. With the help of Google Translate, let me unravel this french field disaster of extorting, blaming, and worst of all, self-advertising. Now, the Discord bot in question is called Koya. Koya is a multi-purpose Discord bot that does moderation, welcomes your new members, and it can make your members come to your server with some special commands. And Koya is the 18th top Discord bot. Scroll down 18th Koya, it has 2.3 four million discord servers and over 196 million users the amount of damage that could happen from being hacked is absolutely massive now before i dive any deeper hello there are 7.8 billion humans in the world that could be playing today's video sponsor raid shadow legends either on their phone or on their computer whether you like nerding out on lore watching turn-based action mastering game mechanics or working with a clan to stomp people in tournaments raid has a little something for everyone i'm one of those nerds that spend about a couple hours looking at a spreadsheet to try and min-max my characters, and if you're some degenerate like myself, then there is a lot of combinations to look through, so go and binge to your heart's content. And to kick off the new year, there is a new raid update with a bunch of new features, including something called the Season of the Forge Pass. There's also the Polarium Points program, where you can earn in-game goodies, including a legendary champion, and in preparation for raid's fourth anniversary later this year, they're launching a fourth anniversary Titan event, and the Titan event lasts for several weeks, and you can earn anniversary points for competing in special themed events. New players, you can use my link or scan the QR code and you can get a free starter pack with all this stuff. And fellas, MMA and pro wrestling megastar Ronda Rousey has made it into the world of Raid Shadow Legends with her very own champion. You can get Ronda by simply just opening Raid Shadow Legends for seven days before February 20th. And to celebrate the Ronda Rousey, yes, the MMA and pro wrestling megastar being in the Raid Shadow Legends, you can use the promo code Raid Ronda to get a whole bunch of useful in-game items to help level her up. Just enter the promo code in-game and all those goodies will be sent to your cute little inbox. Anyways, thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Mwah! At 7.34 p.m. on December 21st, the hack was finally public. The Koya server staff lost control and the server looked like this. The name was Koyas and .gg slash manois, which probably means something in French. I just sound like I know what I'm saying. But free Nitro, free. Just listen to us. Who want Nitro? Okay, let's delete this bot. For some reason, right, when someone does a hack like this or some sort of server rating, for some odd reason, every single time, they love self-promoting their own crap. So there's discord.gg slash manoir or however the heck you say it. And it's just like default behavior. The brain turns off and it happens. Three minutes later, someone received a DM from Koya Beta, saying a whole bunch of French stuff, but thankfully they translated it for us. Koya, go on discord.gg slash the same server. All of your adventure and info are here now. Now, issues were arising big time. This is the Koya Beta bot, which is an official bot, and it's DMing people about all these random servers. This is not good. When you have your Discord server hacked, that's bad. But if your bots are sending hacked messages, that is extremely bad. And let me tell you, skepticism was arising. People were wondering if the server was bought from Koya and well one minute later the new Koya team I mean the ones that uh, took over the server had a little bit of a change in heart and they had a little bit of brain cells that turned on and they thought to themselves we shouldn't advertise our own server we're gonna get in trouble so they deleted all the channels except one and posted the most beautiful message they go on Koyami's account which is the owner of Koya and they send a community server that they wanted to pin the blame on this basically is just discord.gg slash uh, internet and a whole couple of hashtags and and in some sort of massive brain move, they say, no, 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 no. Don't join this random community server that is getting the blame pinned on, and instead join our really sketchy server that we self-promoted five minutes ago, but we're really hoping you forget just so that you can see and learn about the problem. And finally, please do not fall for the trap of the internet server. It's probably called the boarding school or something. We're calling it internet because uh, I'm English and I'm stupid, okay? If you thought things couldn't get any more closer to Ocean's Eleven, hold on, because the Hackers pull an even smarter move. This thing blew me right out of the water. Four minutes later, you know what they do? They delete all these messages, and instead, they throw another server under the bus and try to pin the blame on them. Now, this beautiful French message says, uh, these people are in charge of explaining everything to you. Come quickly. This plan was completely flawless. Pit two big French servers against each other and just watch the chaos. And I mean flawless. This thing is flawless. They didn't mess anything up.
And they messed it up by self-promoting the same server again right after in a better twist that I literally couldn't have predicted. We have TJR Cute saying, do not join the internal server, meaning the internet server, at least as far as I think. They hacked me and they stole my bots as well as my personal information. I ask you to report the internal server to help me, the internet server. Now I'm struggling to keep the suspense up, but you already know what's happening. They're trying to get all these Discord servers terminated. And 12 minutes later, at 8.27 p.m., we get another announcement from the absolute geniuses behind this whole entire hack. Remember the Academy server that they were trying to get you to join? Well, our server, Academy, has been deleted by Discord, so do not hesitate to come to our other community server. Please come to the voice call of the internet server and stop saying that we are hacking. We have nothing hacked. So I don't know what these scammers are doing. They're going back to plan A part two. They want to put all the eyes on the internet server, even though they were apparently hacking, but now they're not hacking anymore. And now now they are the place to go, baby. Because guess what? Koyami is with us on discord.gg slash internet. This internet server that they're trying to get everyone to join is definitely just a random community server that got thrown under the bus. And they have no idea what's going on because I went to the internet server or the boarding school is probably the way you translate it. But they did send a message, hello everyone. And of course I'm going to translate it because the rest of this French is not, is not going to be coming out of my mouth. Hello everyone. We want to let you know that we have nothing to do with the Discord Koya bot hack. They do tell us to remove him from your servers. Of course, it's expel him because Google Translate and French vernacular. And they say, thank you for not falling into the trap. People are trying to incriminate us to destroy our community, which, of course, will not happen. Now, of course, anyone watching this live is having their brain jumbled back, left, forward, right, and center. They don't really know what's going on, right? I think they're starting to slowly figure out, though. Maybe these hackers are actually hacking Koya, and these internet people have no idea. But don't worry, the real hackers, they bring out something crazy. They go with some triple trouble, baby, because guess what? They send another message saying, don't forget our backup server discord.gg slash anime o back. And of course, <laughs> you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to that server. I'm going to go to their announcements. Oh no, there's French. More translate message. It's literally the same message, by the way. Like they, they copied the same thing. So they might be related or this person might have just copy and pasted to be lazy. Regardless, they have no idea what's going on. But people were catching on. Let's confuse them even more. And they pulled out their wild card. Now, of course, the translation's a little rocky. But stop saying that we have Koya Pirate. It's wrong. So they're saying that we didn't hack Koya at all. Their server was given to us by Koya, and we are here. So apparently it was just some sort of donation. They gave the server away. And thanks to Koyami for his partnership with our server, Internet. And people were up in arms. Who was bad? Who was good? Who was hacking my not safe for work photobot? Complete chaos. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the chaos doesn't stop there. This chaos amplified with this hot tweet straight off the press of the worst site on the planet, Twitter. My Discord account is compromised. Be careful. The plan, the perfect plan, with absolutely no holes whatsoever, was falling apart. How could the hackers recover from such a tweet like this? Well, of course. We have plan C. Make some shit up. The hackers, th they release a banger. Now they have it in French, but they have it in English, thankfully for me. Beware this tweet is a fake Koya, and that the boarding school, or the internet server, didn't hack it. It's actually Koya's hacker who pretends to be him. And this is completely normal, and their story is falling apart. How do they convince everyone that nothing has gone wrong? 14 minutes later, the best plan on the planet was revealed. Go say under the tweet that it is a fake server, and that that we didn't do anything. We respect the terms of service. The downfall of these hackers just gets even worse because after about 20 minutes, the bot was flagged by Discord's anti-spam system. And this is the part where the villains pull out their last ditch efforts. They go on Koyami's account and basically say, good evening to all. I deactivated the bot while waiting for the leak of Discord to be regulated. The server that caused the raid is internet. Please report them to Discord. So they're trying to get everyone to mass report them, which is completely crazy. When that failed and they started realizing that people aren't buying their crap anymore. They went full on skid mode. I'm going to sell the code for Koya and I'm going to sell the server as well. Please send me an offer. I accept Bitcoin only. <laughs> and 
<laughs> you thought it could get any worse, right? I already have an offer for $800 from someone who's English. Does anyone have any more, like higher offers? So as everything was falling apart, Discord got their grimy little mittens on the Discord server and deleted the server and held it safe for the Koya team. All right, I'm going to save you five minutes of going through a whole Discord security lecture and just speed run what happened. So basically, the source code is safe. The hackers didn't have it. If you sent the money, it would have been scammed. But the only thing that was compromised was Koyami's Discord account. And the thing about this hack is that it actually was wasn't as bad as it could be. There could have been a lot worse. And honestly, every single Discord bot can be hacked. So just make sure to like be in the support server so you can get notifications if there is any hack. And also make sure to restrict the bot's permissions. If you're only using a bot to like add emojis, don't give it admin permissions. That's stupid. And finally, have two-factor authentication on your account or you're a complete idiot. Anyways, uh, there was like Zoe 101 happening. Oh, there it is. And I am extremely excited. So I'm going to see what's trending on Twitter. I love you. Mwah.